G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to pouring your heart out. Look what I am going to do today. I'm going to use my new big bowl mold. And um, I'm going to do something that I haven't done before. And I actually haven't seen anyone else do it before. So I don't know, we're just going to have a go. I'm going to do a bowl, a free form bowl. And what you ask is going to be the difference. Ta-da! Popcorn. I am going to make a bowl out of popcorn. So what do you think of that? <laughs> um, I'm not exactly sure if it's going to work or how it's going to work or whether these little guys are just going to float. But I had this packet in my pantry and I thought, oh, what can I do with it? I can't even open it. That's a good start, isn't it? So, yeah, I'm going to use this big mould of mine and then I'm going to drape the the resin when it's when it's almost set. It's no longer tacky. Mmm, smells yummy. <laughs> There's going to be a little bit of um, bit of trouble here to do this. Anyway, so once it's a little bit it's set, but it's no longer tacky, I'm going to take it out. And I'm going to drape it over a bowl with. I'm going to have the popcorn like kernels, the rough edge on the outside, and then the smooth bowl on the inside. I thought that would look nicer than the other way around. So what I'm going to have to try and do is coat my popcorn. And this is the part where I I said I'm not quite sure how it's going to work. But I just got this like little picnic bowl. And I'm going to put some resin in there because I want to coat it like so. I want each little piece to be coated because I'm not sure if it's going to like, you know, go off. Popcorn, I guess popcorn will go off, but this is going to be kind of like caramel popcorn or caramel corn, you know, when each little piece is coated with the caramel and then it goes all crispy on the outside. Not that you're going to eat this. Please don't eat this. So anyway, there we go. Um, yeah, it's going to be a little bit messy and I guess it'll take a little while, but I just want to make sure that they're all coated. So, but, but what I'm going to do first is I'm going to pour a little bit of resin in here first because I just want a nice base for it. And then um, I'll pour the um, resin coated popcorn onto the top. That way we know that we've got a nice smooth bottom because you know, you know how I like the smooth bottoms. Hey, I've mixed up uh, two cups of resin. I did um, 350 grams of A and 130 grams of B. No, it wasn't. What was it? 300 grams of A. I was going to do more than I thought. Oh, I won't need all that much. So 300 grams of A, 130 grams of B. So what's that? 430 and hopefully that will be enough because you don't need it to be too thick you know you just want to have a nice coating of resin on it but not too thick okay so that's our nice little layer there let's put our first lot of popcorn in and it goes look at that oh, this is gonna be fun this is gonna be a fun pour to do and basically I just want one layer so we'll push it down like that okay now the next next bowl of popcorn and the same thing little coating of resin give that a stir up and I'll make sure that every little piece is nicely coated I should do it over here in case I spill a bit and then it just goes into the well yes but you're not ready yet you're not coated he goes whoopee I'm going in no, you're not coated yet. So do you reckon this is going to work? Oh, okay, you can go in. <laughs> uh, I don't know. And I was thinking maybe for, like put a, a slight tint of colour in it. But then I thought, oh, no, because you really want that white of the popcorn to sort of stand out with its little brown pieces of kernels and things like that, you know. So I thought, no, I'll just leave it clear, see how it goes. 
If I want to do another one down the track, I can always do another one with a colour, but I just thought, nah, it'll, it'll be nicer just left El Naturel. Look at that! <laughs> it's looking pretty cool already, isn't it? Oh my gosh. All right. Feel free to um, fast forward if you don't want to watch me do the rest of it. Probably do another two bowls full. There we go. Making a bit of a mess, aren't I? So I've got the day off work today, so yay. But I've been busy. I've been getting my moulds out, getting my orders posted out. So I'm going to do this. I, I did that this morning I printed out all my labels and got all my orders organized and so then I thought okay let's do this Then I'm gonna have to wait like maybe three hours or something for this to kind of set up so I'll pop down to the shops get my groceries go to the post office post off my orders do a few other little bits and pieces that I need to do and then by the time I get home this should be ready to take out and drape over something I'll have to go and find a bowl. I have got a nice big bowl in mind. It's a stainless steel bowl. So I've got that one in mind. But until you've actually sort of got it out and got the piece draped over it, you don't really know what it's going to, if it's going to work or not. So I don't know. Do we just do one layer or do I try and do like, I don't know. I'll just, I think I'll just use up whatever popcorn I've got and whatever, however it turns out is how it's going to turn out. I'm kind of thinking just one layer, but I don't want to like see too much gap. So uh, I've got a little bit left. I've already got enough in there for one more bowl. One more bowl of popcorn. I was thinking it'd be fun to do other things, you know, bowls of other foods nothing that's going to go off dried foods lollies cereal don't know got my mind working what else can I make a bowl out of if you wanted to use it for actual food because you know how a resin's not generally food safe Although, actually, I have got one. Oh, this one. Look. Food grade. What does that mean? Does that mean you can eat off it? I'll have to look into that. Because if you made it with something like that, then um, you could use it to eat out of. Like if you wanted to make a bowl for your chips, you could use that, couldn't you? Hmm. All right, let's spread this out. I don't want to break the kernels too much. The kernels? Are the yellow bits the kernels or are those little hard bits inside the kernels? Mm, I don't know. All right, let's push this out. I'm going to make sure that I've filled in all my little gaps as much as I can. I'm just going to do the last little bit here. There we go. It's the last bit. I'll try not to get all those little tiny bits in so that's that's it that's all I've got there isn't any more a bit more resin this time because that's a, a fuller bowl can be quite a sticky thing to do so be careful wear your gloves I've made up just enough resin the rest of it I'll just sort of pour over the top that'll be my all my resin used up Probably could have got away with one less bowl if I'd made them a little bit more full, but it's a bit difficult to mix when you've got a full bowl because they just all kind of jump out. I hope I'm coating them well enough. You're not coated. There you go. Okay, I think that's coated. Let's chuck them on. I don't really want to get those little tiny bits that are in the bottom there, so let's just leave them out. All right, now I think I'm going to just use my, my hands and 
push them down, try and get into all those little nooks and crannies. If I've got too much, that's okay. I can take some off. Because now we're not, <laughs> it's not really one layer anymore now. It's more like two layers. Because I was a bit worried that if I do it like two layers, the top, you know, might not stick as well because it's not sitting in that wet resin that's on the bottom. So I thought, mm, I don't know if that's going to work. Because, I mean, they'll be very lightly stuck together. Probably need to just, I think, stick to my idea of just one layer. What do you think? I wish you could answer me. Maybe I can do another little one. We've got enough to do a little one. We didn't need to do that. Bear with me, guys. I can't stop now and turn the video off and <laughs> pause it <laughs> because my hands are covered in resin. So bear with me. I'm just trying to use these on the top and I need to fill in all the little gaps. Okay, that's what I'm aiming for here. I think that's probably a better idea just to do one layer and make sure that you've got it well covered so that you can't really see the bottom of the mold so just if you can see through there if there's a little gap just pop another one in I think yeah I think that'll work out better it smells pretty good I make caramel popcorn reminds me of my caramel corn that I make I put cashews in it as well though it's yummy Here we go, pushing them down. No, oh, they want to stick to me. Oh, I knew this was going to be a hot mess. All right, there's another little gap. Take them off the top, poke them in. Make sure we cover in all those little holes. Don't want to see very much in the way of the mold through there. Just take your time. You know, if you're you're home doing it without a video going and people watching, I'm sure you'll do a better job because you'll take your time. Whereas I'm always conscious of people watching and going, hurry up. <laughs> but um I think that you just need to take your time and make sure every little hole is filled. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Pretty good. There's a loose bit. You can go down there. All right, and then now I'm going to take a few from my little bowl over here and just pop them back in see there's a gap there's a gap in there and they do want to kind of well not float up but they do want to kind of push up so I keep sticking them down. All right. I think that's probably almost it. I'll play with it a little bit more. Now, I, what I want to do is I just want to use the rest of my resin and just kind of drizzle it over the top because I've got a little bit left. So I'm just going to kind of drizzle it over the top rather than waste it. So I don't know if this was the best way of doing it. If you guys have got any better options, ideas, feel free to let me know. Would you just pour the popcorn into the mould and then pour the resin over it? I don't know. I just did it that way because I wanted to coat as much of the piece of popcorn as I could. But yeah, if you've got a better way of doing it, a better idea, let me know. I'm open to suggestions. 
don't think I'd ever do another popcorn bowl though. I think, you know, once you've done one, that's it. You move on, tick the box, move on to the next thing. Alrighty. Another little gap. All right. Um, I'm going to get myself cleaned up. You're a loose one, aren't you? What are you doing? Anyway, I'll get myself cleaned up, push these down a little bit more, and um, I will come back to you after I've gone out and done my chores for the day, and I'll drape this over a bowl, all right? So, see you then. All right, oh, I'm back. Let's put you on autofocus. Now, I'll was busy doing other things. I was coming back and checking it every now and then with a the toothpick. And it was quite sticky. <laughs> I hope I haven't gone too far now and waited too long. I'm just going to cover that with a piece of plastic. I don't want it sticking to my bowl. Oh, okay. It's still bendy. I'm just hoping that it's going to be okay. I've got two different size bowls and I wasn't sure which one I wanted to try. Let's try the biggest one first. Um, actually, you know what? I might, might actually lay it down onto the plastic first. It's probably a better idea, isn't it? Lay it down onto the plastic first and then pick the plastic up and drape it over the bowl. Hmm? That makes sense. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. Let's get him out. It's really warm underneath. I guess that's the resin doing its thing. Let's hope I haven't left it too long. All right, that can sit over there for a minute. And we'll pick you up. Move you out of the way. try this size. All right, here we go. <laughs> it's not flopping down very much. I have to push it. So the problem, one problem I guess, is because the popcorn is bending, it might kind of split a little bit and like crack. Oh, look, it is bending. It is bending. Don't torch it, okay? It's not one of those things that you can heat to get your shape, all right? Because <laughs> you'll set your popcorn on fire. I guess I could have brought it out a little bit earlier. But I may actually just have to tape my sides down a bit. <laughs> might have to just tape it. That's all right. Look, I'll just keep playing with it. And I haven't got gloves on. I'll just have to wash my hands with my alcohol rub afterwards. I'm just being careful not to damage my popcorn. So that can be like a little pointy thing there. And over here, let's do one over here as well. Kind of bend that in a bit so it's touching the bowl. Because obviously it's not going to drape over the bowl. It's going to have these little kind of points, which I'm okay with. It's going to be like a square. Oh, look at it. It looks like a hedgehog. <laughs> okay, we're having a square bowl here. Square bowl. How's that looking? I don't want to play with it too much. If you leave it, like if you don't leave it in there um, long enough, your resin will just sort of drip and you don't want that. I'm just seeing if it feels even, like evenly spaced, the sides hanging down a little bit more. I guess I'm going to have a square bowl. I'm just going to let it do what it wants to do. I'm, it can be like a, yeah, it can be a square. I'm just feeling under here, make sure we've got the same distance from the bench in here as well. Um, and then that's probably about all I'm going to do, like so. Hey, what do you think? What do you think? I guess I could put something under here 
to make it come out a little bit. What do you think? Should it be like that or should it just be more of a, a square look? How does that look if I do that over here as well? I'd have to find something. Oh, yeah, actually, I like that. I'll have to find something to go under there. I usually use um, my little markers. Not sure what size to use, though. Mm, no, probably that one, maybe. I don't know. See, that's going to make it stick up more. No. I think that'll just bring the top up rather than actually making it a point. I need to get something in under here, about there. Don't I? So that's too high. Okay, it's on an angle that's lying like that under here, so maybe that'll work. I'll get a few of those. Just to give it a little bit more shape. Um, what have I got? What have I got? They're all the same. <laughs> These are a good little size. So the, the corners are fine. I'm just going to make a little point there, try not to break my popcorn. So again, it's just lying on an angle like that against the bowl, just to bring it out ever so slightly. Like so, and then one more. And over here. Again, just to bring it out a little bit. Just make it look more bowl-like. Look at that! Oh, I'm happy with that. I like that shape. Looks like a big I don't know, a big shell or something. <laughs> uh, now, we were talking about the um, food grade resin. Uh, if you wanted to, I don't see why you couldn't, uh, once you've turned this out and it's set, get a, a brush, paint brush, or maybe just your gloved and just rub the inside with your food safe resin to give it a coating. Obviously, you can't put a lot in there, it's going to pull, but I don't think there's any reason why you can't just brush the inside of it. Now, I'm just going to make sure that this is still equal distances from the, the bench. All right. Okay, there you go. I'm going to leave that. <laughs> oh, how funny is that? It looks very weird. Oh, I'm loving it. All right. <laughs> A popcorn bowl. All right, so there's the little micas underneath. Just keeping that from sitting flush against the bowl. These ones, these ones are kind of pinched on their own. See that? It's kind of pinched on its own there. So, and the same here. It's kind of kind of pinched on its own. It's just the way that it's hanging. stuck on there quite well. I, I sort of thought it was going to crack and break and all that, but because the resin in there is still soft, it's, you know, pliable, it's kind of just bent. Oh, that's looking really cool. Love it. All right, I'll see you tomorrow and um, we'll unmold it. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun. See you soon. Righto, I'm back. It's the next day. I've been at work. I've come home from work. And I got a popcorn bowl. Look at it. Isn't it cute? Right, now I wonder how much drippage we had. Because I can see the little points along the edge there. Like I, I can see there's been a little bit of drippage. But let's have a look. Take our little... I ended up putting one of these under each little point. Just in case it decided it wants to drop down. Let's move all these out of the way. That bowl did well. It was either that bowl or that bowl, which was a little bit smaller. 
So anyway, put them back in the kitchen. <laughs> right, so here we go. Let's put this over. The only issue I had, well, I thought that it might be a little bit kind of wobbly because it didn't have a flat bottom. I like it like that. Like, it would make like a great um, lampshade, wouldn't it? <laughs> Let's get the plastic off. It feels nice and solid. And uh, like a, the popcorn's all got a very light coating of resin. So anyway, I was thinking um, what I could do is put down a little bit of resin like on that plastic, just a little puddle, and then stick this down into it. Um, and then when I peel it off, it'll have like this little hard, you know, flat piece, which you won't see because it'll only be that, sm that small there. But we'll see. Here we go. Oh, look at that. We have a popcorn ball. That is so cute. I love it. Let's have a look at the top edge. It's not too bad. Actually, it kind of, oh, there's a little bit of a sharp bit there that I'll just need to cut off. I'll take you down for a close up so that you can see what the edges look like. It's not its not just a sm like a flat smooth top there. It's kind of got these bubbles, well not bubbles, but wavy things, I guess, which actually follows the line of the popcorn bubbles like that. Oh, I love it. It's actually sitting really well. I mean, it'll tip if you do that, but it's actually sitting quite nicely. What do you think? <laughs> look at it. It's so cute. All right, so now we have a look at the sides. This is what I was telling you. Let's see if I can pick them up. Okay, see how it's not flat across the top? It's got these bumps where the resins kind of drip down a little bit. I actually don't mind that. Turn this around. So it's just got that little clear lip all the way around. Go a bit slower so you can see. But see, I don't mind that at all. Some areas of the resins dripped a little bit. I guess because of the weight of the popcorn, like if you didn't have popcorn in there, it probably wouldn't drip. It's a bit sharp there, I'll just file that off. Um, but yeah, the weight of the popcorn's kind of pulled it down a little bit and it's got these little waves. But look, I don't mind that at all. Look at that. That's so cool. Love it. I'm just going to figure out what to do with it. You make these things and then I go, okay, well, what do I do with it now? But see, like you could get a brush and just coat the inside with um, some food safe resin. Um, and then you could use it for a chip bowl and a popcorn bowl and actually get some use out of it. So there we go. What do you think? Love it? Hate it? I love it. I think it's great. All right. I'll leave it there. Um, I'll set it up for a little photo shoot so that we can actually see what it looks like finished. I mean, I guess I would like to see a little bit more of the popcorn. So if it was a light shade, oh, look at that. What it looks like with the light coming in behind it. it looks pretty cool, doesn't it? With the light shining in. A popcorn lampshade. Uh, all right, I'll leave it there. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed that. <laughs> Go and make yourself a popcorn bowl. And um, I'll see you for the next thing. Let me know if there's something else we should put in a bowl, hey? <laughs> all right, see you soon. Bye for now.